YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hey BBO, hey PGG, what's poppin'? If you're new here, we have a few different segments that we do, all included with Life With Tea. We talk about all things fashion, food, adventure, beauty, lifestyle, the list goes on. So this is gonna be an episode of um, When Tea Cooks. Oh, why did I forget that? But yeah, I am super excited right now because I've been doing so good with only spending $100 every two weeks on groceries. Who am I? Okay, who am I? I'm gonna show y'all what I got. But today we are actually cooking spaghetti squash, one of my favorites. Shout out to one of my old friends, Che, back at JCPenney years ago. She put me onto this um, recipe. I never even ate spaghetti squash before. I don't even usually eat squash, but she put me onto this and baby, changed the game. Literally, you're just substituting the noodles. I already made a bomb spaghetti. So, I have my spaghetti squash. I brought apple cider vinegar just for the house. These were on sale for two for seven. Uh, Y'all know I'm really, really making a true effort in getting as, many, as much protein into my system as possible. So, I've been busting these down. I usually just get the vanilla one, but since they was two for seven, I was like, oh, well, let me try another one. So I got mixed berry. So that's that. I got pepper and onion for my spaghetti to get today. I got a cucumber. Here's my receipt. I got spaghetti sauce because I ain't get there yet to make my own sauce yet. But one day, eventually. I got diced uh, tomatoes to go in my spaghetti. I like my spaghetti chunky, so yeah. Um, I got some gravy for another meal that I might make next week. I don't know how to make gravy from scratch yet either. Somebody teach me, put the recipe in the comments because I don't know how to do that yet either. Um, I have, these were on sale for two for eight. My Morningstar uh, breakfast sausages. I have those. I usually use like the patties, but they didn't have the original patties. They only had the maple and I don't like the maple. I got some cantaloupe, I got some grapes. So that's all from Food Lion. And they ain't had no bags. So baby, I told the boy like, why am I to just take y'all basket? So, <laughs> took their basket. I also went to Aldi. I got spinach. I got eggs. I got blueberry, blackberry, and put that all over here because we have to clean those. I got a little uh, chopped salad, maybe for dinner or lunch this week. Lemons. I've been craving french fries, y'all. Y'all know I don't even really eat too much preservatives. Ugh. But I've been craving french fries, so I had to get a bag of french fries. So I got french fries. I got frozen broccoli. Chicken sausage, this is gonna go in our spaghetti. And then I got some drumsticks. This is gonna be for the meal with the gravy. So we don't need that today. Oh, okay, I got another bag. I got Butter, kombucha, minced garlic, champagne. Y'all know it's Sunday, so I'm gonna take my bath. I need a little mimosa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apple juice, coconut milk. Um, I never even tried these before, but uh, I said why not. So I got lime popsicles, pineapple popsicles, um, and then I got cereal. And that's it, all under $100. I think I I like just made it, maybe like $2 short of $100, so I did good. I'm gonna go ahead and put these groceries away, and then we'll get started on our meal for today. 
ready. I hope you guys are ready. All right, so here's all the spaghetti squash. What I'm gonna do is, I just cleaned it. I know how I like to clean my vegetables. So I just cleaned it. And what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. So that's what it looks like. That's what the inside of it looks like. So we have two halves. We're gonna clean the inside out with a spoon. Let me get a bigger spoon. So we're gonna take this spoon and literally just scrape it out. Just like that. Until it's all clean. Alrighty. So here's what it should look like once you're done. So here are both of my halves cleaned out. You're gonna just put that on a baking pan. So for this next step, you're gonna need olive oil, salt, and pepper. So what you're gonna do is spin this down here. Okay, so what you wanna do is drizzle a little olive oil on them. There's a little olive oil on them. And then we're gonna put, season them with some salt and pepper. And so they should look like that. And as you just heard, the oven has already been preheated. The oven has already been preheated at 400 degrees and we are going to place those in here for 45 minutes or until they get soft. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my vegetables and then <laughs> we'll get the meat started. So today we have pepper, onion, um, and then we're gonna put some diced tomatoes in there as well. I really gotta sneeze, the pepper got in my nose, but it's not coming. And my allergies been acting up today, so it could just be the allergies, who knows. I was, I was sneezing earlier. All right.
So the seasonings that we are going to use today is we're going to use some Lari's. We are going to use some garlic. I am going to use some oregano. I'm gonna use some of this saltless seasoning. And some Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna cook that down just a little bit before I add that other chicken, the chicken sausage and the vegetables. Okay, now we are gonna get our sauce together. Um, we are gonna start up with the chunky tomato, onion, and garlic pasta sauce. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. I'm gonna mix it anyway. I'm so gonna put it on the bottom. Put a little seasoning. Same seasonings we use for our meat, but I am gonna add um some red peppers to this so i like my spaghetti just a little spicy not crazy spicy just a little We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken, our ground chicken and our chicken sausage in. Okay, so we're gonna let that simmer on low heat um, for about 20, 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check on our spaghetti squash to make sure it is cooking properly. So it's still hard. On the sides, the middle is pretty soft, but the sides, as you can see, is still kind of hard. So we're gonna let that continue to cook a little longer. I don't think it's been 45 minutes yet, but we're gonna let that continue to cook. And after it's done, we're gonna let it sit and cool and then it'll be time for sure but right now i am going to go off for my bath and i'll catch y'all a little later when it's time to test taste test test try taste test test try hey guys i'm back and it's time to eat 
All right, there go our spaghetti squash. So what you wanna do next is basically scrape it with a fork and it should come out looking like noodles. And you're gonna scrape the whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it directly into my Tupperware for storage. Okay, this is our noodle replacement. Okay, are you guys ready to test try? You see this steam coming up off of there? It's hot. It's gonna be so delicious. So the spaghetti squash actually doesn't really have a flavor. So it just soaks up the flavor of your spaghetti meat, basically. So if you season that perfectly, it's gonna taste delish. Mm. The texture, it's not noodles. It's like, it's kind of crunchy, but not crunchy. But it's not noodle. It's not a weird texture either. So, it's hard to explain. It's good though. It's honestly so good. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and pack my lunch for tomorrow. And I'm simply gonna have <laughs> the same exact thing. That is so delicious. Oh my God. And it's just a tad bit spicy at the end. Not too crazy, just a tad bit. If you decide to make this meal, like even if you substitute the meat for beef, let me know how you feel about it after you try it. Come back to the comments and let us know how it worked out for you. Seriously, it's a great alternative to noodles. I'm just saying. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Another video, Wincy Cooks. Cause I don't cook often, but I can cook. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. See you in the next vlog.